Canadian researchers at the University of Calgary and Ryerson in Toronto have begun an unusual study to understand the path of COVID-19 before there's a second wave. They're testing wastewater. As Mike Drolet reports, it's a dirty job that could establish an early warning system. As COVID-19 spread around the world, the global focus was on finding ways to contain it. But healthcare professionals and scientists were already looking ahead and preparing for the inevitable second wave. I mean, there's never been a pandemic in the history of humankind where there hasn't been a second wave. So I do think this is not over yet. A Canadian-made pandemic predicting software called Blue Dot was able to predict the original spread of COVID-19. Its AI is monitoring the internet for signs of that second wave. And now scientists at Ryerson University in Toronto are set to begin using a far less pleasant but potentially effective early warning system, the city sewer system, where they can detect the virus. Once it's in sewage, it's no longer dangerous to humans, but it does give an indication of how much virus is in the community. And if levels spike, they'll know the second wave is coming. Yes, it would be. If, if it works, uh... It, it could give us like a two or three week uh, window before things get bad. And if we have a two or three week window, then things won't get bad. Similar programs have been used successfully around the world. Australia, Iceland, the Netherlands, and the state of Utah, where scientists were able to warn authorities of a surge of cases at a meatpacking plant. And they were able to have the signal to tell them, hey, this is coming. We need to be prepared. We need to begin to understand what might be going on in the county. Same thing's been done in the Netherlands, where six days before the first clinical case was identified in the community, the signal was found in, in wastewater. Similar testing is being done in BC and several small Ontario communities, but not to the scale planned for Toronto. There's just too much sewage to get accurate readings. So they'll focus on key spots in the sewage system, not the main plant. And so essentially what we're doing then is we are uh, analyzing waste from a smaller geographic area. And we can do that in multiple places. So almost like neighborhoods, we could isolate individual neighborhoods. And hopefully the results make up for the fact the job stinks. Mike Trollet, Global News, Toronto.